Effectively tackling Russian disinformation and propaganda in the European Union is an all too familiar challenge for officials in the halls of power in Brussels and Strasbourg. In just two years, Moscow has attempted to influence the UK's vote to leave the EU, the Dutch referendum on Ukraine's relations, the French and German elections, and now, even perhaps, the largely unrecognized Catalan independence referendum. Russian authorities are not exactly shy about the goals of this disinformation campaign and disinformation activity. Uh, in Russia's official military doctrine, as well as statements by top Russian generals, they describe the use of false data and destabilizing propaganda as legitimate tools and information as another type of armed force. Currently, the EU has limited resources to tackle Russian disinformation. East Stratcom Task Service of the European External Action Service is the only fully functioning EU institution that tries to push back against Russia's 1.2 billion euro propaganda machine. It doesn't have a budget of its own and has staff of only 14 people. But there are proposals and plans in the pipeline to do more. We have to tackle these challenges. It's high time to build up the resilience of our union. In my opinion, this should include four points. Firstly, to thoroughly investigate in Russian interferences in election campaigns. Secondly, to impose targeted sanctions against hacking and falsified publication of sensitive data. Thirdly, to turn the East Stratcom task force into a permanent EU structure with adequate funding and increased personnel. And fourthly, to develop an effective well-targeted and tailor-made strategy how to communicate and promote our European policies and values. Many European members of Parliament, though, were ready to point out that the EU has to be careful not to regulate the independent media by trying to tackle the Russian propaganda. The main solution I see in terms of counter-propaganda is honest, open and professional media. Media which is free from censorship and which is not regulated or directed by politicians. We should not make mistakes of Soviet leaders. But today, sorry, I have a strong feeling that we are dangerously close to that. And of course, I fully agree with Mr. Van Balen, media have to be transparent. But it concerns also Stratcom, where you will find not a single name of these guys who are writing this information review. The EU Parliament debate will not directly result in any legislation, but may lead to development of policies that may help target the issue.